what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we'll be talking about jeepers creepers in this video here again again today we'll be talking about more specifically the jeepers creepers tv series that you know was rumored to be happening like i said before it was just a rumor that more or less doesn't seem like it's actually going to be happening the more likely thing we will ever get in the future is just another movie that might be a disappointment or it could be something that gets us back on track in the style of what we saw with those first two movies without victor salva being involved but getting jonathan brick back getting gina phillips back getting um ray wise back and bringing back some familiar characters played by new actors of course brought in to revive said characters because of the I don't see a lot of the people from Jeepers Creepers 2 joining up any of these future projects. Just being honest, the most important person I want to see back has sadly passed away again. Rest in peace to Nikki Acox and uh, I hope her family and everybody that was close to her are coming to terms with what happened to her unfortunately because that was just one of the biggest shocks last year for me growing up with that movie and I love the character of Minxie and again I just hope that her family has been uh coming to terms with this in the best ways but I just want to touch on again the tv series mostly in this video and talking about the character of Blair Ketridge and how she is tied into the overall bigger twist of what is happening in the TV show outline that many of you know was sent over to me for the first season of Jeepers Creepers the TV show that Victor Salva had planned that will never get to come to fruition so again I had the outline of that TV show sent over to me I went over it in a video a couple months back I'll leave a link to that video down in the comment section below it's like over 20 minutes long I just wanted to share a video with you guys today diving a little bit deeper into that character to recapping what her role is in the tv show and how she is protecting an even bigger twist that the creeper has planned because as you know the creeper has husk that it's leaving behind every 23 years it's shedding old skin and leaving husk and the taggarts and what's happening at the barn with trish and her team of uh, mercenaries they want to burn the husk because they think that's going to do any good but they don't realize that there's an even bigger twist that the Creeper has been planning for centuries that Blair Ketridge and her family and whoever else might have been connected to her in the past have been knowing about the Creeper for over 40 years, it seems, given given how many of these husks that she has been collecting in an old house of hers. So Blair Ketridge is, again, a woman in her 50s in this TV show. She is a much hated woman in Polk County and lives on an isolated farm while child welfare well fair visits her often her brood of strange boys she is given numbers instead of names numbers she paints in red on their shaved heads the connection she has and her bizarre offspring have to the creeper is is the startling first season secret while blair may be disliked and her freakish boys as well her arc in season one may reveal her to be the county's ultimate if ominous protector from the creeper itself for in a dark underground room beneath their sagging farmhouse, the Kittredges have over 40 withered husks of the creeper collected throughout the years after each of his 23 feedings. 23 day feedings. This mysterious family is the secret keeper of the creeper's old husk, keeping them safe from fire and hidden for all time. And when Helicum, who is one of the people working with uh, Trisha and Dark Sky, which is the team of mercenaries, discover this secret of, the, of Blair Kittredge, they plan to burn Blair's farm to the ground, husk and all, not knowing this would allow the creeper his chance at absolute, allow the creeper his chance at absolute power. Now, what does that mean? Now, going back to the creeper and what burning the husk would do, because I never revealed the actual twist of what happened if you burned the husk, because I was saying I want to hold off on that. But I now at this point am, am, am being told that it is fine for me to discuss this as long as, of course, I am not just putting this out there in more than just this is what i was told so i will dive into what happens if you burn the creeper's husk and what the twist would have been for season one if you burn the creeper's husk so it says here that the twist the theories of what the creature is and how it can be stopped fly freely in jeepers creepers the series but there is a secret waiting in season one that will change all ideas about it a secret that the creeper is counting on and has been for centuries counting on humanity's willingness to overlook intellect and compassion and revert to superstitions and and rituals when our fears grow too great for the cunning creature has deliberately chosen the basements of old churches and places of worship to do his darkness throughout the ages and with this has perpetrated its greatest hoax putting forth that 
lie that is indeed a creature of Armageddon. So it wants you to believe that it's a creature of Armageddon. And then waiting for the time to come when even the smallest faction of humankind might decide to perform the oldest of rituals and burn its withered remains. The skin it sheds like a snake in the final moments of its 23 days of human harvesting, its empty shell it leaves behind every 23 years. Why does it want its old husk to be burned? The answer is to be discovered on the great stone calendar carved into the cathedral floor where a comet of fire is depicted that seems to be rebirthing the creeper, making it so powerful the entire world will ultimately fall in its ravenous wake. So if they were to burn these husks, what happens is that this would just give the creeper ultimate power and it would be the end of humanity as we know it and would just lead to ultimate destruction on earth from this uh, from this monster what that would look like i don't know because you'd have to burn the husk obviously to find out what would actually occur if you do that um and what this uh, what this power would look like but it ultimately yes would make the creeper be reborn with ultimate power and it would just be a never-ending cycle it sounds like that's what it sounds like what happened if you burn these husk so that is why blair kittredge and her sons and the husk that she's keeping in her basement of her house that is why they play such an important role in the first season that is also why the creeper over the centuries it's giving reason to why we see the creeper in the first movie at an old church why the third movie has a cathedral setting why the tv show of course even though it was basically cathedral in a miniseries format it was still going to have the cathedral in it it's explaining why the creeper does what it's doing it's doing that on purpose wanting humanity to make that fall or make that small slip up and decide that hey this is a creature of armageddon we need to burn it and by burning the husk they're unaware that that's just going to make matters worse because it's going to allow the creeper to be reborn granted ultimate power and go on a ravenous rampage on the earth basically it sounds like it would be the end of the world that's what this outline is describing as to what would happen if you were to burn the creeper's husk that was going to be the ultimate twist of season one you guys can let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below does that intrigue you does not intrigue you did you find it underwhelming again this is just what's in the outline i want to discuss that here with you guys to kick off the new year uh but if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video